The worst seats on a plane are often the cheapest, and then you have to ask yourself, is saving 20, maybe 50 bucks worth it? Consumer reporter John Mattery shows us the downside of those discounts in his Don't Waste Your Money report. With so many people in Pennsylvania traveling this summer and jet fuel prices soaring, airfares are up sharply. If so, you might be looking for the cheapest fare you can find, but beware. Flying is getting more and more expensive in 2022. The fare comparison site Hopper says the average domestic fare is now over $300. So that basic economy fare may look tempting. For instance, Delta from Houston to Columbus, Ohio is $344 round trip on basic economy. 364 in the main cabin. But Forbes magazine says that $20 in savings may not be worth it. It says downsides include no advanced seat assignment. You'll be last to board the plane. Only one carry on bag. No earning Delta Sky Miles. And no ticket changes in many cases. Which brings us to the doesn't that stink file. No changes to your basic economy ticket. During the pandemic, most airlines started allowing free changes. But Forbes says many are now removing that perk for basic economy. And that stinks. Is it really worth all that to save just 20 bucks? Besides, you'll probably end up sitting by the lavatory in the back of the plane. And that stinks in so many ways. Just because one fare seems like it's $50 cheaper than another doesn't necessarily mean it's the lowest fare. So always don't waste your money. I'm John Mattery's ABC 27 News.